Hello everybody, my name is X Nothing Fancy, and this is my first ever commentary for Call of Duty Black Ops, or for any Call of Duty in general, so uh, uh, I guess welcome to my channel, I know I only have 12 subscribers right now, but hopefully we'll be growing that base a little soon. Uh, first off, my real name is Brian, I'm 17 years old, I live in New Jersey, and uh, I do want to apologize to you guys because I should have had a commentary out by now. Um, I've just been really doing nothing, and, uh, I know I've been uploading, like, those little mini clips and, uh, fancy clips, I call them. I thought that was kind of a cool name for them. Let me know if you guys like those, uh, but I kind of ran out of those because I didn't have any editing software to really go through all of my footage. I do record with an HP PBR, and I just have folders and folders filled with, uh, gameplays that just have, like, different clips in them that I gotta go through and edit through. But I finally got, um, I don't know, I mean, a couple days ago, I got a friend of mine to download a Sony Vegas 10 for me. So uh, I'm working on editing out a couple clips, and I finally got around to making a commentary. Uh, I did make one before, but I wasn't happy with the way it turned out. Um, and I definitely should have had at least a mini edit out by now or a montage. But the problem with that was I had an editor, and his computer got some kind of weird virus. And it ended up like just melting the entire computer, right? So it, it's not even usable anymore. He had to transfer all of his data to like his mom's laptop, and that's what he's running off of right now. He had half the montage done, but he doesn't know if he's going to be able to continue it or finish it at all. And uh, until he gets some more editing software, he can't really edit for me. So I've been watching some different tutorials, and I'm going to I'm going to take a crack at it. But you never know how it's going to turn out. I mean, I'm not good with editing. I'm not good with computers. I'm essentially computer retarded. The only thing I'm really amazing at is is Call of Duty. Um, <laughs> as of right now in Call of Duty Black Ops, I maintain a legitimate uh, uh, kill death ratio of about three. Right now it's about 3.0405. So uh, you won't see that playing down. But on this channel, you're gonna see we're gonna be playing together. This channel is gonna be very active. For me, it's not about the money. It's just getting out there, and I want to share my talent with other people and hopefully make the game fun for them. I know people who run around with noob tubes and sit in corners with ghosts. I know they don't have fun doing that. So, and I know why they do that is because they can't play the game the real way, the way it's meant to be played, like uh, gun to gun combat. And I, man, I can't wait for MW3 because what they've said about that. Um, but that's a whole different video, but essentially it's supposed to be like COD 4 more gun to gun combat. But you're going to see a variety of videos on this channel COD 4, MW2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3 when it comes out. I pre ordered Dead Island, so we're definitely going to have some fun with that. Hopefully, we'll, we'll all get our, uh, our asses scared off on that one. But um, I also on this channel plan on hopefully getting a few montages out. That would be fantastic. But um, other than that, uh, in this game, I'm playing on Nuketown Demolition. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm using the AUG Dual Mag, I believe. The perks on this are I believe, Marathon, Sleight of Hand, and uh, Lightweight. Sorry, I said those in a weird order. But um, recently, I've been kind of shying away from Dual Mag uh, because of... If I'm, if I'm using Sleight of Hand, Sleight of Hand does what Dual Mag does all the time instead of just on your first reload. But I kind of like dual mag because I don't have to use scavenger and I get more ammo, so it, it really is your own sort of call on that, uh, like what you want to do with your own classes, but so far I really don't use um, reticles a lot, I don't use like, different, like reflex lights and all that crap, not really for me, um, I've definitely been getting into quick scope and at least getting my little zerg grizz on. But uh, some of the clips that I've been getting are pretty ridiculous, so uh, hopefully you guys can look forward to those. But in this match we are playing Nuketown 24-7, I think it's the last one. Me and my friends were lucky enough to get into a demolition game. Um, we have never ever spawn trapped, and I do not know why I had a tactical insertion on this class, but I mean it worked out fantastic as you'll see in the end. Um, me and my friend O Natural, we were absolutely... Uh, Tearing new holes up for these right, kids, essentially. Uh, when they were done with this game, I bet they f I don't even know what they felt like, but I would have slipped my wrist and locked myself bleed out of my Call of Duty Black Ops if this ever happened to me. But, um, so I also use frags and flashbangs, I believe, on this class. 
Uh, I like flashbangs more than like Nova Gas or concussion just because uh, in Black Ops they seem to last so much longer than they normally do in any other Call of Duty. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed that, but uh, for me, flashbangs uh, subdue the enemy for the longest amount of time other than concussions here. Well, I mean, Nova Gas kills him and it stuns him temporarily, but we usually get out of it and it wears off in like not even a second, so it really doesn't do much for me. Um, on this account you will probably never see me use flat jacket just because um i don't think it's a, a good perk to be used uh in general it shouldn't ha it should never be around because it completely eliminates the use of your equipment which you Ready deserve to, to like have the right to kill someone with if, if, if they're giving it to you you should be able to use it so like ghost um I, you probably will never see me use that unless i'm going for like a pro perk, but I already have all those on the 15th right now, so I do have about 14 days played on that game, but it's summertime, come on, what else is there to do? I mean, I go out on plenty of vacations, and I go out with my friends and stuff, but other than that, I mean, we hang out on Call of Duty all the time, you'll see me playing with um, a, couple, a bunch, my brother is, uh, if you see him in this clip, his name is a Sleepy Wizard, which is a sick OG. Uh, but I also play with XMSA. He owns a Call of Duty channel as well. Uh, you know, it's XMSA X Productions, I believe. He's up to about 500 subs. You guys should check him out. He's a really good guy. Um, he also plays with we play with uh, X Ains HD and X Squirrel HD. Uh, those are a couple of their friends too. Uh, they're just a uh, fun bunch of guys to play around with. Uh, I got a whole bunch of. Uh, I used to be on a Game of Battles team. Uh, we did pretty well, but it ended up my two teammates really couldn't get along with one another. So, in some of the games, I would end up having to carry them most of the time. But you will see, uh, we're formulating a game battle team now. Uh, just for, you may see me playing some singles, you may see me playing some doubles. Um, I've checked out Game Dunzo, just for like, what they've been, some people have been referencing me to what they've been doing lately. And I, I get what they're trying to do over there. They're trying to make it sort of like a gambling uh, Call of Duty thing. But it's so like weird the, the way the tournaments are set up. Like you could be playing like the same guy over and over again. Like I, I just don't get how that works. However, um, what the, what they do with the dedicated servers is fantastic. Game battles when when you're in with the host and you guys are fin like kind of finagling of like. Oh, you gotta be host, you have the better connection, blah blah blah, we gotta swap hosts, you lag out, you lag out, it's all just a big fiasco. And I think Game Battle should really steal that idea from Game Dunzo with the whole dedicated service thing, because it would really improve the way their entire website is really run, and I think a lot more people would go back to playing Game Battles other than Game Dunzo. Not saying that Game Dunzo has more people than Game Battles, because it definitely doesn't, and Game Battles will probably be around forever, but... I'm just saying the game battle should take a hint and get some dedicated servers because it does cause a lot of problems with what they're trying to do over there. I mean, everyone's just trying to prove like they're the best, whatever. But in the end, if you all can't, if you're all not playing on the same like playing field, then it's really unfair the way like things work. But that's a whole another story for another day. But um, essentially, on this channel, you're gonna see a whole bunch of Call of Duty. And see what I like to play, and know what we're gonna have a great time on this channel. It's gonna be all you about the fun. It's gonna be a, we're gonna have so much fun. I swear, we're gonna play some. Uh, we're essentially gonna play whatever you guys want to play. We're gonna have some let's get together lobbies, some fancy clip lobbies, or some funny combat training. But uh, so far, I hope you guys have enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, I do end up uh, going amazingly in this game. I think this is my best game of all time. Well, not all time KG wise, but kill wise. I end up going, I believe, 182, and I think 12, and my one friend, O Natural, goes uh, 216 and like 16 and 20. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary. There will be a lot more coming. So enjoy, comment, rate, subscribe. Bye bye.